Let's go. What is that over there? Floating platform. So, a lot of people would probably cut this part out at the beginning, but I wanted to leave it in there to show you what happens when things don't go your way all the time. So, I have the razor back. It's not kicking in, and then I... I'm trying to switch to it because it wasn't loading and then I switched from it and then I have my knife out and then I try to shoot and it doesn't shoot obviously so then I start getting shot from somewhere else so I drop down uh, he follows me first and then from there I drop again and then I wait till I'm freed up so I wanted to show you guys this part um, I'm looking and I'm, I don't hear anything and I don't see anything so I uh, heal up. I wanted to show you guys this part to show you what happens when things go wrong. Not to panic, to relax, make a try to relocate and get yourself back put put back together so you can go in there and then do well, as opposed to thinking that everything is gonna go good every single time. So I jump back on and I see two people. I shoot one and then I dip because obviously if you have two people looking right at you probably gonna die so the other person actually got scared though and he left i'm not sure if he knew this other guy was on the right of him so he took off and i it's still safe when you're looking at two people it's still safe to only take one out and try to dip so i hear these guys shooting up here so i decide to go back up and then I, as soon as I see two guys again, because I didn't, I didn't know there was two guys there. As soon as I see two guys again, I do the exact same thing. I kill one, and then I dip again, and then I relocate and put myself in a better position. All right, so I knew he was there. He um, took off. They always come back, so he's going to come back. I'm waiting for him, and I didn't know what he was going to do if he was just going to hop in the chopper or try to try to engage me so i try to blow up the chopper and again i know he's gonna come back so i'm waiting for him and then i try to blow up the chopper as soon as he's next to it i think i want to say some of that hit him so i try to follow him see where he's at and then i actually run into somebody else take him out and then freaking dog still gets a bite on him and then I see him drop. And then he tries to drop again. So he actually he accidentally lands too far away from the zip line. And then I take him out right there. So you guys see, like I said, when things at the beginning don't go your way sometimes, just recuperate, get everything back together. I picked up a better gun than the Razorback, the 117. And then I went back up and then it turned into that. So sometimes you just have to do that. So I see this guy right here, putting bullets on him. He puts his shield up. And then I see his little buddy over here to the right. And you guys see me stay right here, right behind the head glitch. He, the other guy's shooting at me, but he's not gonna hit me though, cause I'm behind the truck. So I stayed in the pocket, kept shooting at this guy. He's behind the building or the little pillar now, so. Right here, I'm not even sure what I was thinking of doing. I think I was going to try to use the top of the tank as like a head glitch. But then I started taking too much damage and I'm not really sure. So I heal up and then at this point I'm relaxed. You guys got to learn how to relax when you're in gunfights like this. So I slide, take him out, easy. Come take his uh, little buddy out over here and then I hear the sniper. So I'm trying to get out the way, make sure I don't get sniped. So I hear this guy slide on him, take him out. Still get, I got, I think I get hit by the sniper. So, and then I hear this guy and then I hear another guy. So you want to pick 
the one that is going to I basically wanted to eliminate the other two guys and take this I wanted to take this guy out so I cannot have everybody around me so I wanted to work from one side to the other so I chose the other guy came and took this guy out he was trying to take my kill all right so I still know the snipers up there somewhere I don't see him. And then these other guys start shooting up, so heal up real quick, get plated up. Check my corners. I figure I get a high ground. That is one of the perks of using ninja. Chip terminal is almost ready. And right here I'm looking for the sniper. I still don't see him. He's not up there. And I know there's a guy down here. I can hear him. He just throws his... He throws the clown out. And then I guess he thinks that I'm going to worry about that. Uh, if you guys ever get the, if you guys ever get a clown thrown against you, just keep moving. Don't worry about the dogs. Try to not to concentrate on them. Concentrate on the person first. And then you can take out the dogs. Now, you guys see how I just turned and I stayed in this room? How many times have you died trying to reload trying to reload, and then go into a different room? So, it's the very, very small things that's going to bring you up and make you better. So, how I didn't reload or how I stayed in that little room and, and waited so I reloaded helps. And just little things like that, I think, can improve your game. Alright, so we ended up in downtown. So I hear these guys to the right of me, try to get some cover. And then look what I do right here, the same thing. Instead of staying out this, instead of staying out there and reloading, I come in the room and then I reload. Wait that couple seconds so I don't take any damage and then I come pop back out and my my uh my internet or something right there. Dang, pay your internet bill. So I don't know what's going on with that. I wait for it to drop back down. Then we start hitting the slopes. So what other people do should dictate kind of what you do. There's only three things you can do. You can run, you can fight, or you can heal up. Um, I know this guy is... He was basically running from me. He wasn't staying to engage me. So that's why I didn't go behind the truck. If you guys go back, you guys can see that I had the option to go behind the truck. And then I didn't. I just went straight for him because he was running. All right. So this guy third persons me really well. He probably should have took me out. But I think I had more health in him. I did catch it though and slide at the end. But then I messed up on that. So got kind of fortunate. Took him out. And then I take out Javi again. I think this was a guy that was at the beginning by the floating platform. And then heal up, get ready to go. So when it gets, when the circle gets smaller, I like to eliminate one side of the map and then basically work towards the other side. And then by that time, the circle basically gets smaller by then. L cookie. So I did good switching targets. This one was probably the more advantageous target to go after. I think he thought I was getting, or he was getting shot from the other guy he was shoot, uh, shooting him um, because he actually went. He didn't take any cover from me, so. I think that's what happened. Um, this guy starts shooting me. And you can... I didn't engage because I got behind the tree and I felt comfortable enough to just heal up. Sometimes you have to engage. Sometimes you can heal up and then basically get ready for everybody else. Him and any friends or buddies that he got around him. So that's what I did.
Look at this guy. Can you die? Dang. So I didn't have to come here. I kind of just went here for fun. I just wanted to get my vow for the last kill of the game. You see this guy over here taking laps. I was just waiting for him. Man, can you hurry up and drop off your Uber? Dang. Chip terminal is almost ready. So he gets out. I, I'm i pretty sure he's only on that side of the map. That was pretty much the only place. He didn't go behind me. So he's either up there behind the car or the truck. I'm pretty sure he's still behind the truck, though. Kobe! So I do hit him. He gets scared, starts taking off. He does take good cover right here. He drops down. And then I was going to hit him with the Nova Gas. And then I see him get up. And then I try to adjust, but I threw it a little bit too far. Now, when you have somebody hurt, I always tell you guys, if they don't, if they're not around a lot of people, you need to rush them. They're already a little bit nervous that um, you know where they're at. They're already weak. So if they don't have a teammates around them, you want to go for them and just take them out. Twenty-one kills. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Laters.